We're here to support the School Strike Action organized by School Strike for Palestine. Today we're holding a press conference that is children-led. And together we're holding a space here for the children to interact and play. Free, free, free Palestine! Free, free, free Palestine! Free, free, free Palestine! We march together, we march together, we march together, stop the occupation. Today, this action is part of hundreds of actions of school students, of university students, of workers walking out to say enough is enough. Remember that you are not alone. Remember that you are part of a global movement, that you are the voice of the majority of the people in this country. We're here in front of parliament where those MPs have sanctioned the genocide, but also in front of the statue of Nelson Mandela, who we know said that our freedom is incomplete without the freedom of the Palestinian people. We are taught every child matters. Now I know it's a lie made up by grown-ups because not every child matters. Not every child's life matters. Not every child is equal. Not every child has the right to food, water, medicine, education, healthcare, or even a safe home from bombs. According to the World Health Organization, one child is killed every 10 minutes. Over 11,500 children in Gaza have been killed, with thousands more under the rubble. Over a thousand amputations of children without pain relief. Schools bombed, homes bombed, hospitals bombed, families bombed. We urge you, grown up. Stop killing children in Gaza. Let them live. Cease fire now. 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 I am Callie. I am seven years old. I live in London. I can't stop thinking about the people in Palestine and I want it to stop. I want to be there with them to help. I can't imagine why the government keep doing this. I think about them every day, every morning, every meal time. I've been thinking of them for days and weeks. I feel sad when I hear the terrible things happening to them. Something from the children in Gaza. In the morning, I wanted to go and get supplies for the house. I went from my house to the schools. On the way, I was hit by a drone. Thank God the injury wasn't any worse. My dream was to play football, but the occupation army ended my dream. They cut off my legs. Just like that, they stole my dream from me. I am a Palestinian girl. I want to talk about what's happening to us. What we are living is complete destruction, to the point that we are seeing our family members being pulled out of the rubble as body parts. We were at home and my mum got a call from her brother saying her mum and dad were unwell. So she said, I'm coming and fed my baby sister who went to sleep. Then it came on the news that a house in the area had been bombed. So my dad went running to see which house and found out it was my granddad's house and that my mum had gone. We started crying. My mum was mated. Since we came to the tent, I've been with my baby sister for a hundred days. From when we left Gaza City, I give her milk when she's hungry. I know when she wants to eat, when she wants to sleep, when she needs changing, when she wants to get dressed. I've learned to do everything for her during this war since my mum was smarted. My father was smarted and my mother, my brother, 
my sister-in-law and my sister. I should be at my university now. I meant to be preparing for my exams, but this occupation, what has it done? It has destroyed our university along with our dreams, our lives and our homes. The occupation has destroyed every single thing we could belong to. However, these dreams continue to grow. But when we hear what is happening around us and how the world has abandoned us, we have no hope in the rest of the world. We want our freedom. We want to live like they live. Why us? Why? Why the children of Palestine? I've been to most of the marches and I, and I demand a ceasefire from the government. Wishes do not care our words. We demand a ceasefire and declare Palestinians their rights. It makes me sad seeing all these children suffer and die. I want the UK to stop helping if you kill Palestine, free Palestine. Free, free!